Revelation. Right in the right in that text. Look, 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 look at verses 40 through 42. It says, but Peter, somebody said, but Peter, put them all forth and kneel down and pray. And turning him to the body said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up and gave her his hand and lifted her up. And when he had called the saints and widows, he it is presented her alive. And it was known throughout all Joppa. And many, how many? Many believed in the Lord. Church, there was a supernatural transformation. She was dead. It was over. Doctor didn't have an answer. Pharmacists didn't have an answer. Cardiologists didn't have an answer. Neurologists didn't have an answer. But Peter had the solution. And the solution was prayer. How many know today prayer still works? Prayer still changes things now. Prayer can do what money can't do. Prayer can do what your doctor can't do. Prayer can do what your job can do. Church, the solution was prayer. But watch, but watch Peter. Look what he did before he prayed. The text says he, he put them all forth. In other words, he told them to get out. He said, leave the room. See, these ladies was crying like there was no hope. See, church, when you go before God, you can't have no shaking faith. See, if you know God can do it, you got to go down to your knees and pray, pray in faith. If he did it one time, how many know he'll do it again? If he brought you out one time, he'll bring you out again. He, he told them to get out. I don't need you crying and whining when I'm talking to God. And probably, church, they wanted to hear what Peter was saying. But, church, you don't have to hear prayer in order for prayer to work. You don't have to hear prayer in order for prayer to work. It's not in the sound, but in the sincerity of your prayer. The Bible says the prayers of a righteous man prevail as much. They didn't need to hear Peter's prayer in order for the prayer to work. Because whether you believe it or not, some of the most powerful prayers for us was not done in our presence. As I look back over my life, I realize somebody prayed for me. Could have been dead, but somebody prayed for me. Could have been a drug addict, but somebody prayed for me. Could have died on the table, but the saints were praying for me. And they prayed because there was a connection. You see, the real reason, Lewis, that Peter came was because Tabitha was connected to the same Lord. You better hear me today. The reason he came was because Tabitha was connected to the same law. And I don't know who I'm talking to today. But in order to receive your blessing from God, you got to stay connected to God and to connect it to the church. See, look, 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 look. After he prayed, here it is, she opened her eyes and saw Peter. And then she was sat up. He reached out her hand didn't give her a hand out, but he gave her a hand up. Called the saints and went on and said, look, look, look. And presented her what? Alive. Not dead. Don't miss this now. Presented her alive. Church, who told you your situation was dead? Who told you your finances were dead? Who told you your relationship was dead? See, the devil has planted that garbage in our head. And we think... We are dead. But I stopped by to tell somebody, we serve a living God. Stop acting like you're dead. Stop thinking like you're dead. Stop praying like you're dead. Stop singing like you're dead. Stop worshiping like you're dead. Stop shouting like you're dead. If God woke you up this morning, God won't movement. God won't excitement. God won't joy. God won't happiness. The reason why you're still walking around here, you ain't got no movement. God ain't dead. This 
this ain't no cemetery. This is a sanctuary. If God woke you up this morning, you ought to wave your hand. You ought to shout. You ought to jump for joy. Look, 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 look. The enemy have told you you was dead. But God has already presented you alive. So if you are alive, you got to act like you're alive. You got to act like you got joy. You got to act like you know God. Look, 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 look. Watch, 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 watch. Watch, watch, watch. That was the solution. Look at the salvation. Look at verse 42. It says, and it was known throughout all Joppa. And many believe in the Lord. If the truth be told, it ain't about us. It's about winning souls for Christ. People got saved because she came back to life. Oh, y'all missed that. Y'all missed that. Was dead, but after she came back to life, her life brought life. Y'all missed that. Church, it wasn't Jesus' death that gave us life. It was happened after he died that gave us life. Don't you know we serve a living God? He rose from the grave. And if God rose from the grave, every now and then we are raised from our seat and give God some glory. The word of God said, let everything that has breath. Praise God. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises will continue to be in my mouth. If God been good to you, if God woke you up this morning, if God brought you out of the hospital, you are shot for joy. You ought to give God some glory. You ought to clap your hands. You are running in your feet. Have God been good to you, baby? Have God been good to you? Have God been good to you? Look, 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 look. She woke up, sat up. Look, 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 look. She opened her eyes first. Some of us are still walking in darkness. After she opened her eyes, only thing Peter did is just reached out his hand. Baby, you got to do your part now. If God has reached for you, you got to reach up to him. Stop looking for a hand now. Say, God, pull me up. Hold me up, God. I'm going to hold on to God. Unchanging hand. Church, God always has a plan for us in the end. Watch me now. God always has a plan for us in the end. He has us covered. No matter what comes our way. Here it is, here it is. Let me tell you a story. The story was told of little Timmy. Little Timmy was in the third grade. And little Timmy had an accident. He wet his pants. Anybody ever wet your pants? Don't wave your hand. Don't wave your hand. Little Timmy wet his pants in the front. And Timmy was sitting in the seat. And the teacher said, Timmy, I need you to stand up and read. Timmy went down on on the desk and said, God, I need you to answer my prayer. The teacher said, Timmy, I need you to stand up in the front of the class. I need you to read. Timmy said, God, I need you to come by here right now. Timmy wouldn't get up, but, but the teacher began to walk towards Timmy and said, Timmy, I dare with you to stand up. I need you to stand up and read. Timmy went back in prayer. And while Timmy was praying, clumsy Sarah had a fishbowl. And as she began to walk towards Timmy, she whoop, pulled the water in Timmy's lap. Right. Timmy said, girl! When you least expect it. But that's not the end of the story. That's not the end of the story. They begin to call Sarah clumsy. Sarah, you ain't no good. Sarah, you ought to shame yourself. They begin to spit on Sarah. They begin to beat Sarah. And Sarah went to the back of the bus. 
sat all by herself. And little Timmy saw Sarah at the back seat. And Timmy went back and sat beside Sarah and said, Sarah, you saw that I wet my pants. Sarah said, I did, Timmy. But I wanted to cover you. He said, why? Sarah said, because I love you, Timmy. He said, you love me? Sarah said, I love you. I stopped by to tell you. God told me to tell somebody he loved you. They hugged him high, but they stretched him. Even when we wet our pants. God has us comfort. So why are you crying and frustrated? My bill through. God got your comfort because he loves you. Ain't God good because he loves you? Even when we won't do right, he still loves us. Who wouldn't serve a God like that? Who would look beyond our fault and see our needs? Look, 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 my girl Tabitha, my girl Tabitha died. Listen, but God remembered what she did while she was living. Y'all missed that. She was dead, but God remembered what she did when she died. Church, God still cares for us. I don't care how hard it gets. I don't care what's going on in your life. What he's doing, he's standing. He's saying, just come back to me. Just come back to me. You done tried everything in your life. See, that's the reason why the world will beat you down. God is still waiting. He said, come back to me. I saw your deeds, but I need you to come back to me. That's the word for the day. Come back to Jesus. As we stand to our feet. Oh, to his hand. There might be somebody here today. God, son, God said, Come in the name of Jesus. Come on. God said, Come in the name of Jesus. God said, Come, one of you want. God said, Come in the name of Jesus. Real, 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 real slow, real quiet. God is calling. Will that be one of the God? That's the reason why you came today. God said, Come. You're going through what you're going through for a reason. God said, come back to me. God said, come back to me. Until you come back to him, you're going to still go through what you're going through. God said, come back to him. Will that be one today? God said, maybe you're looking for a church home. God said, come. God said, come in the name of Jesus. Will that be one today? God said, come. Come on, Lewis. Oh, Lord. God said, come, will there be one today? God said, come. There's a reason that God said, come. Oh, yeah. God said, come in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my sister. God bless you. Will there be one more? God said, come in the name of Jesus. God said, come. Will it be one more? God said, cut, you've been gone for a while. Maybe looking for a church home. God said, come. God said, come in the name of Jesus. Will it be one today? Maybe looking for a church. God said, come be a part. Will it be one today? I said, come on, let me one more. You are the host. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. God said, come on, let me one more. God said, come in the name of Jesus. You better hold. What love. God said, come. If you're looking for a church home, God said, come. If you're out of Christ, God said, come. In the name of Jesus.
Oh, yeah. God said, come, will it be one more? God said, come. God said, come. Yeah, yeah, wouldn't it be one more, God? Bye bye. Oh, yeah. We will. God said, Come, let's see a room. God said, Come. Maybe you're looking for a church. God said, Come in the name of Jesus. Precious name. Will it be one more? God said, Come. Yes, sir. God, God said, come. In the name of Jesus, God said, come. Get name. Church, you are hold to his hand. What oh, you are the Last time, last time, come on, real loud. No music, no music. Seated in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, to God, I'm changing hand. Amen. Come on, give God some glory. Amen. Pastor Webb, we have Sister Sandra Ashley reinstating her membership. Amen. Raise your hand, please. And we have Brother Terrence King um, coming on his Christian experience. And we have Sister Wanda Baker coming as a candidate for baptism. Sister Baker, amen. Come on, Sister Baker. You Sister Baker, Wanda, how you doing? Come on, Sister. Come on, candidate for baptism, amen. Do you believe Jesus is the Son of God? Yes. You want to be saved, you want to be baptized? Yes. God bless you, my sister. You may be seated. <laughs> sister Ashley, Brother King, come as a wake dog, amen. And Christian experience, and you're coming back to restate your membership, amen, to be a part of the church once again. Yes, sir. And you want to be a part of the trip, brother? Oh, yes, sir. Amen. God bless you. Let, let us hold hands. Let us hold hands. Amen. Hold hands. Hold hands, Terrence. Hold his hands. Hold his hand, doctor. Hold his hand. Go in prayer. Minister Blight. Amen. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, 
We come just today, Father God, with happy feelings upon our hearts, Father God. We thank you for the man of God that preached the word today, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that your word didn't go back forward, Father God. We say thank you for that, Father God. Now, Father God, we thank the one that comes up. We thank the young lady that came up for baptism today, Father God. Pray, Father God, surround your angels around her, Father God. Protect her, Father God. Continue to bring her close to you, Father God. And we thank the ones that's coming up for Christian experience, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for touching their heart, Father God, to be, born, be better servants for you, Father God. Oh, Father God, we just thank you for them right now, Father God. And, Father God, I pray that we continue to walk worthy of yeah. our calling, Father God. So we don't be no stumbling block before them, Father God. Because, Father God, you get all the honor and all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on and put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Amen. Build your hopes on things eternal. Amen. If you are a first time guest, if you're visiting for the very first time, if it's your first time coming to the New Bethel, please stand. Any first time visitors? Any first time visitors? Any first time guests? One, two, three, four. Back row. We're going to start here. Five, six. Amen. Young lady, amen. Before you stand back up and so say amen. Give me your name and church home if you have one. Amen. Good to have you, my sister. Give her a big round of applause. Amen. <laughs> Young man there, give me your name and church home. Amen. That's your, that's your little son there. God bless you. Good to have you all day. Amen. God bless you, brother. Amen. And, and we need men just like you do. We need men for you like you do. Young man in the black shirt, give me your name. Amen. God, good, good to have you, my brother. God bless you. Amen. And young lady, give me your name. Amen. Good to have you, my sister. God bless you. Young man. Amen. You're looking. Amen. 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 I saw that, doggy. I got nervous too at first. God bless you. Good to have you, my brother. Amen. Amen. Your family is our family. Amen. God bless you. Young man, give me your name at church home. Amen. Good to have you, my brother. Good to have you. Amen. And the back row back there, give me the name. Amen. Amen. Good to have you. Good, good to have you all. And all amen. Y'all give me your name. Go ahead. Amen. And the young man, give me your name. Amen. That was good. I don't know what you said, but that was real good. <laughs> Let us stand. We're going to sing to y'all. All our visiting guests, we're going to sing to you guys because we just love to sing. Amen. Amen. As we all stand and we're going to sing with other voices. Amen. And if you haven't learned this song yet, just move your lips. Amen. We welcome you. We welcome you. All together. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah.
Welcome to Holy Ghost Headquarters. Amen. God bless you, my sister, my brothers. Amen. Let us hold hands and don't forget no Bible studies Tuesday night church conference. Amen. Remember, EIC stands for what? Excellent in Christ. God be with you. opportunity to come before the throne of grace. We thank you, Lord, for the good works that we should do. Lord, we thank you right now that our work should follow us, that we should look out for our brother and love our brothers and sisters, that we should look out for their interests and take care of them, Lord. Now, if you lift your hand to God, may the Lord bless thee and keep thee. May the Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious upon thee. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. And the church saying, Go in peace, serve the Lord.